All right, so today might be one of the craziest things that I've ever done. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna see how we get to the honey, all right? So I got Brewer Honey. What is it, Brewer Honey and what? Brewer Hive and Honey. Brewer Hive and Honey, Miss, Mr. Brewer. I call him Mr. Brewer, but it's Carrie Brewer and you got Kara and Carson out here. It's been a family thing. They've been keeping bees for over 25 years, getting meant to the locals for, for years. And so anyhow, we, we carry his honey in the store when, we, when we've got it. And so we just wanted to kind of show the process a little bit. So I'm out here keeping bees. So right. anyhow, we're out here, you're gonna get this started. Bees don't all go out in the morning and look for food. A handful go out and if they find nectar, they come back, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll pass it off and they'll start waking bees up in the hive. They'll grab them, they'll like, grab hey, them and literally on, shake go. them. Let's yeah. get it. Pretty efficient bees. Bugs. Get your hive tool? I do, I have my hive tool. Okay. Got my hive tool. Okay, I'll stick it underneath there and pop that lid. So, if we check up here, there's not a whole lot of bees right here. Now this frame has, this frame has not honey in it. It has some cappings that are a little bit different. And these are larvae. You can oh. tell they're a little bit, they're a, they're a brown color. Um, and then down inside, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bitty larva. And you see a little bit of larva that look like little C's. Little white, wow. little white things in the bottom of there. Yeah, those are the baby bees. And as they get old enough, they put a cap on them, and then they pupate inside the the capping. Now the queen, she just hangs out. She doesn't leave. Yep, she just hangs out. She lays eggs. Right now, she's probably laying about two thousand eggs a day. Oh wow! In this little hive, a big one, she might be up to two and a half thousand eggs a day. I'm yeah. just saying, if I'm laying a couple thousand eggs a day. I'm gonna be chilling out. Oh yeah, well she and she <laughs> she has she has some attendants and those attendants will oh, bring a... her food. Alright, so this bee right here. See this girl? Yeah. She got little pollen packets on her legs. So she's already been out this morning. She's been collecting pollen from the flowers and she's bringing it back to the hive. And she'll pass it on to somebody or she'll take it to a cell and pull that off. Somebody will help them pull it off and they'll pack it at the bottom. And that's what the bees use for their protein source. I don't know what you got going on, but there's bees everywhere. But you notice... <laughs> they're not really bugging us. They don't care. No, they're they don't just, care about They're busy, us. man. Yeah. There she is. Can you find her here? Oh, with that dot on the back? Uh-huh. Sure enough, so that's the queen bee. So there's usually one queen in the hive. Okay. And her uh, pheromone that she gives off is unique to her. And so she'll have bees come up to her, and they'll rub her, they'll get some of that pheromone on her and they'll spread it throughout the hive. So as the bees come in contact with her, a lot of times they'll bump up against her. She'll yeah. spread that pheromone. So that way they all smell a little bit different. Um, and if a bee comes in the house, doesn't smell like everybody else they know that they don't belong so they kick them out yeah now if a bee shows up at the front door and they're empty-handed and they don't smell right they'll be they'll be fended off uh, and sent, sent packing but if they come in packed with nectar mm -hmm. even if they don't belong to the hive as long as they're bearing gifts they just say hey, Come on yeah. in. Uh-huh. So that's what happens. So there's drifting sometimes. Yeah. Uh, the bees are coming in, the wind will blow them, and they'll end up in this hive. As long as they're bringing food, the bees don't care. Yeah. Um, they just drop it off there. and get on out. And I think that's a good life lesson. Yeah. You know, you can visit well, you know, somebody. My wife, and I'm going to say, when my wife shows up to a potluck dinner, bring something. Bring something. And it's funny because when someone doesn't, she's like, you know, they don't ever bring nothing to the potluck dinner. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what do you see in the bottom of this right here, in the bottom of these cells? A bunch of, are you talking about the yellow stuff? Uh-huh. Yeah? So that's pollen. Okay. So they pack that pollen in there, and they use their head to pack it down in there. Yeah. And in doing so, they add a little bacteria to it, and it f actually ferments inside of there. And because it's fermented, it um, it has a, it lasts, it has a longer shelf life. The, the nutrient level, pollen yeah. by itself will go bad and loses nutrients over the course of a month or so. 
um, unless it's refrigerated, taken care of. But pollen, this with Pack B bread, will last a months and months, maybe a year or more. I don't know, it lasts a long time. The lid, the telescope and cover, that's a little bit easier to take off. You can do that with that okay. tool and then. And you can see the difference in this comb. Yeah. It's white. White, yeah. So the, this is all new wax. Isn't that pretty? It is. Here, isn't that pretty? Yeah, they drew that nice and pretty. So they, so that wax is all new, and you can tell because it's nice and white. As it, as a, they'll, they'll polish it. They'll put propolis, mix it in there, and make it a little bit harder. Because right now this wax is really soft. Mm -hmm. um, and as they walk on it, it's will turn a little bit darker um, in there. But that's good. That's all fresh nectar in the last uh, two weeks probably. So here we have more honey. This is what capped honey looks like. They start capping it, and that's different than that brood because this looks a little kind of wet. Because they, they put that wax right on top of that honey. So that's a little bit heavier frame. On each, on each frame, when it's capped, these frames, you get about a quart of honey off of it. Oh, wow. So each frame, hold, you're holding about, about a, a quart, quart of, of honey. honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and Start it on the bottom, too. And, uh, so that's a quart of honey right there. Yep. Here, they built what's called burr comb. They had a little extra space. Yeah. So if it's if the space is smaller than what the bee can fit, fit in, they'll fill it full of of um, propolis because they don't want any bugs getting in. They want to fill all the cracks. If it's bigger than what the bee can fit in, they'll fill it full of uh, comb either for brood or for honey. Okay. And then they'll leave a space open just enough for them to fit through. They call that the bee space. So this was obviously in a space that was more than what they than what they could fit through. And we're gonna pull that off of there and we're gonna use we're gonna single that. Alright. That guy right there had a bad day. So Carson is gonna be making his own box of honey this year. He's making his own box of honey. He's pretty excited. He okay. helped me catch a swarm this year. He said, Dad, am I old enough to have my own hive? I said, you bet. He says, since I help you put this one in there, can I have this one? So we, we got them set up with that, and they're going to make a box of honey. And I told him, I said, hey, if you want to find a place to put your honey, Chris will buy buy it all at oh, one I'll time. Oh, I'll buy every probably. bit of it, man. He'll buy every bit of it. And so and you he know, said, I said, really? <laughs> you know, we can't keep enough honey in the store. Um, and we've got the guy that brings it from kind of the Collinsville area, and then yeah. we've got you keeping it here. You know, yeah. Honey Hill Farm, he's the guy that's in Sky Took Collinsville yeah. area, and then um, we've got you, obviously, that keeps it. And yeah. people like to get that honey that's from as local as they yeah. can. You know, they live. I, I'm assuming that's just part of that, you know, people talk about the allergies and different things. Yeah. There's more benefits than just that, right? Yeah. I mean, honey's just... Yeah, it's a lot better for your sugar. It's got micronutrients, and it's got uh, enzymes in it, so you eat a... Um, a fresh apple it's going to have the enzymes to help break that apple down and it helps your body add more enzymes uh, to your body to your stomach to your digestive system what's the lifespan of a bee i mean is it one one season or do they i mean is this something like they're going to be here next year here tell them how how long a bee lives how long does a bee live care so in the winter time a bee will make it all the way to the next spring okay now in the summertime, when it's hot and they're working every single day, they'll only live about a couple of weeks before oh, wow. their wings wear out and they get stranded on a flower somewhere. So they spend a couple of weeks inside the hive and a couple of weeks to a month outside the hive until it. their wings literally wear out. So there's the bee movie, and in the bee movie, about the only thing true about that movie, they're going through at the beginning of the movie. And they're, and they're telling them all the things that they're going to be doing. And the Jerry Seinfeld bee says, you're going to work us to death. And the, and the tour guy says, we'll sure try. And that's, they literally work themselves Still to death. To they'll death. fly out one day. Their wings will be battered. They'll land on a flower. They'll turn around to come back home. And they can't. Those honey, and they can't. They'll just drop to the ground. They'll become food for a spider or wow. something. Go ahead and hit that. Take that smoker. And, and just puff it across the top and watch the reaction that the bees do. So you can just kind of get up on top. Yeah. They're out. Yep. 
So sometimes yeah. we use smoke to move bees. If I'm putting a box back together and it's been open for a while, they'll all come up to the top and just kind of guard everything, see what's going on. Yeah. If I put another box back on, I'll, I'll hit it with smoke and I'll put and they'll kind of clear that top and I can put it back on there. When we get stuck. <laughs> Do, do what now? Because we're going to step away from the hive. Oh, and then bees. And the so bees are going to follow us. We're going to take our suit off, and there's yeah. going to be one bee that's going to come over. One bee's going to come over and check us out. And go, hey, I saw where you were going. I see. And they come over here. So we're going to walk slowly over the back of your track. Which one? Hey, give me that one. That's got some more honey in there. So you can just taste that. So honeycomb, the wax, you okay. just want to chew it like gum. Okay. And uh, heck a while out. Mmm. I feel brave. What about you? Oh, there's me. Yeah, there it is. So one, I want to just tell you thanks. Man, that was an amazing day. I can't wait to see the honey that all these things produce. It's been phenomenal and I really do appreciate it. And again, if you if you see local honey in stores and again they're gonna be all over everywhere, I mean you gotta support your local beekeeper. Yeah. Like, lot more than just honey in a jar there's a lot of work that goes into that and again, man, I, just... I appreciate you've got you know our honey in the store but you're not just us but you collect um, other items other things from local businesses you got just all kinds of local products i really yeah. appreciate you having a, and, a, and just have great having a meat market in town that uh that everybody can go to it's great a small town in cleveland no one got stung <laughs> and i don't know that we really I don't know that we killed any. We can at least say we didn't. Right? No, we, we didn't. No. Yeah, we didn't kill it. No, 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 bee, sure. no bees were hurt from the making of this film. Uh -huh. That wouldn't have died today. That wouldn't have died anyway. today anyway. <laughs>